I hope I've chosen the best line here. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, it's shallow here. Oh, 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 again. Oh, I think we're okay now. Okay, welcome back everyone and today the plan is to try and locate a gold occurrence that happened here in 1890 apparently there was a, uh, a gray rock of diorite and there was a vein of what they described as paying quantities of gold now what paying quantities of gold was in the 1890s and what it is today with today's gold prices are two hugely different things. So we're going to be heading up this river. It's about about a kilometer up here and it never did turn into a gold mine. Apparently it was just a test pit and uh, people moved on to greener pastures. Paying quantities of gold is uh, has piqued my interest so let's go check it out. Of course I could be paddling, but this sure makes it a whole lot easier. There is a heck of a current in this river, so it wasn't too bad launching the canoe from the road, so I was able to carry my electric trolling motor and, and battery down, so why not make it a little bit easier. Just as I thought, the water level is really high, and we just hit a rock. That's not good. So we're going to have to go around. This was uh, this was just too narrow. So we'll we'll get out of this current and we'll go around. Wasn't good. Electric trolling motor hit the, hit a rock. Looks deep enough, but it's not. So we better go around. Wow, there's a there's a heck of a current here. This river is notorious for dangerous undertows and very unpredictable currents. And now the water level is so high, I can't tell where the where the deepest portions of the river are. It's just another 250 meters from here. Well, once again, we're in for some some current. I hope I've chosen the best line here. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, it's shallow here. Oh, 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 again. Oh, I think we're okay now. There was a bank of rocks there. I think we just just jumped over them. Well, in going around that island, I went right past the, our coordinates. So we have to backtrack a little bit. Not much. 
only 150 meters, but it's too shallow to negotiate in here with the trolling motor, so we'll just paddle our way. Seventy meters. I have a feeling it's it's right in there, right in those cedars. Just seeing where's the closest place to to put ashore. Reduce our amount of walking here. The water level is so high that I can't find a place to comfortably park the canoe and then make my way up the bank. I tried several times up there because that was my closest point, but I think we're going to have to go down here and walk a little farther. Okay, so I found a nice little place to park the canoe. And I'm just going to head in for a little while and scout it out before I start carrying all my equipment in. It's already getting to look a little bit interesting. But we're still about 70 meters away. But this is probably the type of rock we can expect to see over there. It looks sulfurous. Sulfur, sulfide veins. But they did describe the gold here as not being disseminated in, in sulfates. So it's supposed to be free gold. Nice set of stairs made of quartz. I could use those stairs. Yes, more quartz veining. All kinds of blueberries starting already. Of course, blueberries are bear's favorite food. Actually, they're one of mine too. There's a nice patch. Looks like this might have been another small trench. This could be the material that they talked about. That's crumbling. I don't smell sulfur in this one. Very interesting. Psh, 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 psh. I got the chickadees all excited and nervous. They think I'm an owl. Oh, this looks like another test pit.
same type of material. This might be it. Three meters deep. Coordinates could be wrong. It says I'm still 30 meters away from the actual pit I'm looking for. If I can't find the other pit, we're gonna we'll do our testing in here. Okay, we're still about 15 meters from the pit. I haven't quite found it yet. But I did notice that the blueberries are processing quite nicely these days. So it's a good thing the main piece of equipment I have with me is my mace. Okay, as expected the coordinates were wrong. According to the GPS, I'm four meters, four meters from the pit. Three meters. And as you can see, no pit, no trench. So that, that trench we passed about 20 meters ago is clearly what they're talking about. So let's get in there. Okay, I can see some of the rock they've taken out from the pit. And this is clearly what they're looking for or what they were after. What they said it was a paying quantity of gold inside of this material. Normally I would take as much of this as I can back, back home and crush it up, but why carry it? I'm just going to test some of this, and if it does in fact carry gold, then of course I'll take myself a bigger sample home. Just walking around and I saw another really dark spot here. Oh, it's very soft too. I think that's the, perhaps the gray diorite they're talking about. I can't smell sulfur. I'm hoping it's not locked up in the sulfur, in the sulfides. Could be, actually there could be sulfides in there. Okay, well, pockets are full of, of samples. I'm gonna go back to the boat, crush them up and pan them and see what we found. Okay, just as I was walking back to the boat, I noticed some of these pieces of quartz on the side of this, on the side of this hill, and I wanted to show you what classic sulfides look like. Now, if you look at this piece of quartz, it's all vuggy with uh, sulfur filler inside. And I'm just gonna try to break that open. little piece off. There we go. Took a little piece off. And that just stinks of sulfur. Totally pure sulfides. Now there probably is gold associated with that as well, but compared to the piece I took out of the out of that pit, I've got no smell. No sulfides. So I'm hoping there might be a little bit of free gold in that. So Let's get to crushing. Okay, so just before I crush them down, I, I like to run the metal detector over them. And not surprised I'm not getting a signal. Even if there was gold in there, it wouldn't be enough to set off the gold bug too. Okay, we'll start by crushing a smaller one. better. Now we can go ahead and pan that.
I should have really put that through a screen, maybe an, an 80 or 100 grit screen, but for this amount of material, it should be all right. I can see black sands and some type of metal. Doesn't look like gold. Oh, I'm gonna get my other camera. Take a shot of that with my other camera. There are pyrite flakes in there, but I don't see gold. Okay, well, let's crush the next rock. know what's going on. Loads of heavy black sands, but not one speck of gold. There are some very silvery flakes and they're very heavy, but they're not gold. Okay, so we didn't get the result we were hoping for today, but it was still a result. We are able to find this old pit from 1890. There's definitely a, a mineral deposit there. We just weren't able to see any gold. See you next time on Exploring Northern Ontario.